At the end of December 2025, an important event was held in Kazan, during which the modernized passenger aircraft 2214 was awarded a certificate confirming approval for a substantial modification to its type design. This event represented an important day for Russia's aviation sector and received strong praise from senior government officials. The certification of the updated 2214 signifies not just the successful completion of another industrial project, but also the initiation of a new phase focused on achieving technological independence within Russia's civil aviation industry. The Minister of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation, Anton Alikhanov, described the modernization of the 2214 as an important step toward achieving technological independence in civil aviation. He recalled that Russian aircraft designers have developed the nation's first entirely indigenous and innovative systems for airborne collision avoidance and ground proximity warning. Historically, these global aviation systems were manufactured exclusively by a single foreign company. These systems have already proven their effectiveness and will now be installed not only on the Tu-214, but also on additional Russian aircraft models. Ali Kanov emphasized that this achievement does not represent the final objective and that efforts to further develop domestic aviation technologies are continuing. This statement was made within the broader context of Russia's ongoing initiatives to replace imported critical aviation components, which has become a central strategic objective of national industrial policy in recent years. A country that previously depended heavily on international suppliers for advanced electronic and navigation systems is now moving toward the development of its own competitive solutions. This transition represents a major qualitative advance in the evolution of the Russian aviation sector. One of the most significant changes in the modernized TU-214 is the complete replacement of onboard radio electronic systems with domestically manufactured equipment. This includes an integrated avionics suite that combines communication, navigation, control, and safety systems into a unified architecture. Specifically, the aircraft is now equipped with Russian-made airborne collision avoidance systems, ground proximity warning systems, navigation modules, radio communication equipment, and other critical components that were previously imported. These systems are essential for ensuring flight safety and their domestic development marks a major technological milestone. For many years, comparable technologies were produced globally by only one manufacturer, creating a structural dependence on external suppliers. By developing and certifying its own systems, Russia has effectively broken this monopoly and established independent technological capability. The Federal Air Transport Agency approved a major modification to the 2214 type design following a positive evaluation by the Aviation Register of Russia. The new equipment has been confirmed to comply with all safety and operational standards. This certification formally authorizes the start of serial production of the upgraded aircraft. The Minister of Transport of the Russian Federation, Andrei Nikitin, outlined concrete plans for mass production of the 2214. According to him, the United Aircraft Corporation aims to reach an annual production rate of up to 20 aircraft by the end of the year, 2027. This increase in output is expected to create new jobs, strengthen regional industrial capacity, advance technological expertise, and provide Russian airlines with domestically produced aircraft. The production plan predusmatrivate a phased increase in output. Initial production is expected to reach approximately 8 aircraft during the year 2026, followed by 12 aircraft during the year 2027, before stabilizing at around 20 aircraft per year. These figures reflect a clear commitment to expanding manufacturing capacity and building a stable industrial base for continuous aircraft production. This shift is especially important given that production of the Tu-214 was historically limited and focused mainly on government and specialized operators. The current phase, 
emphasizes full-scale serial production, which could significantly strengthen the position of Russia's civil aviation industry. Expert analysis from academic and industrial circles complements official statements. Andrei Zhukovsky, associate professor at the Department of Strategic and Innovative Development at the Financial University under the government of the Russian Federation, noted that the 2214 has undergone import substitution in its most critical digital and microelectronic systems, including collision avoidance technologies. He stated that all technologies currently tested and deployed on the Tu-214 can later be adapted for use across a wide range of Russian aircraft. These include the LMS-901 Baikal, the Il-114, the Il-96 powered by PD-35 engines, as well as the MC-21 and the SSJ-100 Superjet. New. This approach enables system unification, reduces development and maintenance costs, and strengthens domestic engineering expertise. Zhukovsky also pointed to the export potential of the aircraft, particularly for partner countries such as Belarus, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Vietnam, North Korea, Cuba, and Venezuela. In the context of international sanctions and restrictions, exports of Russian aircraft could become an important source of revenue and a tool for expanding technological cooperation. According to the expert, the development of logistics networks and supply chains is equally critical. While many analysts currently note supply-related difficulties within the industry, these challenges are expected to be gradually resolved. Once logistics systems are fully established, the industry can function as an integrated production ecosystem, generating a strong multiplier effect for the national economy. Large-scale production of the upgraded Tu-214 has the potential to provide a substantial boost to the real economy. Increased output will create employment, stimulate the growth of small and medium-sized enterprises within supply chains, and encourage investment in manufacturing and research and development. From a strategic perspective, the widespread use of domestically produced systems and components strengthens technological sovereignty, which is particularly important in an environment of ongoing international restrictions. Developing internal capabilities in critical industries such as aviation is increasingly viewed as a core element of national security. The economic benefits of import substitution are also evident. Domestic production reduces exposure to currency volatility and external economic shocks, while simultaneously supporting the development of Russia's microelectronics, software, and control systems sectors. Despite notable progress, the transition to full serial production of the 2214 remains challenging. Experts frequently highlight issues related to shortages of skilled personnel, the need to modernize manufacturing facilities, and the creation of advanced infrastructure for high-precision production. Reports indicate that the Kazan Aviation Plant has struggled in recent years to meet production targets due to a lack of engineers and experienced specialists, which has limited output growth. Although the state is supporting factory modernization and workforce training, these measures require significant time and substantial financial resources. Independent analysts also stress the importance of expanding domestic production of composite materials and high-precision components that are essential for modern aircraft. Previous initiatives in these areas encountered obstacles, including delays during project approval and implementation stages. The certification and launch of serial production of the auction of the upgraded 214 represent only the first step in a much broader process that could shape the future of Russian civil aviation for decades. The success of this program lays the groundwork for the development of an entire family of domestically produced aircraft with a high degree of import substitution and technological independence. More broadly, the 2214 program aligns with a national strategy aimed at revitalizing aircraft manufacturing alongside projects such as the MC-21 and the Superjet New. This strategy seeks to create a resilient industrial base capable of meeting domestic demand 
while also supporting exports under changing geopolitical conditions. If production schedules are met and the new avionics systems demonstrate reliability in real-world operations, the Tu-214 could become a key element in the modernization of Russian airline fleets. This would strengthen Russia's position in global aviation and represent a concrete step toward long-term technological self-sufficiency. The modern Tu-214 represents far more than an upgraded version of a familiar aircraft. It has become a symbol of Russia's industrial capability and technological ambition, demonstrating the country's ability to independently develop advanced aviation systems. Certification and plans for large-scale production show that Russian civil aviation is making measurable progress in reducing reliance on foreign technologies. Although challenges remain, particularly in workforce development and industrial modernization, the 2214 program opens the path toward sustainable growth in civil aviation and the creation of a modern, high value industrial ecosystem. Over time, these efforts could deliver lasting benefits to the national economy and reinforce Russia's status as a technologically independent aviation power. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.